Welcome. Join me as I walk in nature. I figured we could take a walk in nature together. This is called the Pine Barrens. And if you look closely, you might even see a uh, fay or two. <laughs> Remember to double tap the screen to send likes. It helps me. Please follow me so you don't miss out. And share this video with someone. I appreciate you. Oh, thank you for the heat wave, Jade. I appreciate you. Isn't it lovely, Jade? Thank you to everyone who's sending likes and gifts. The gifts help me be able to make more videos for you because it frees up more time. Let's take a moment and just listen. Doesn't that feel nice? Can you feel that loving mother nature energy? Say hello, Mother Gaia. <laughs> I love how the sun plays through the trees. Oh, thank you for the roses. I appreciate you so much, Jade. Wow. Thank you guys for the hearts. It's one of the few days I haven't been working, so I'd be able to do this with you. Can you guys guess what state I'm in right now recording this? Thank you for the roses. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the likes. I appreciate all who are following and liking and sharing and subscribing. I mean... Look how beautiful. I'm trying to move slowly so I don't disorient you, but. <gasps> Look, do you see it? What an awesome feather. What a wonderful thanks from the universe that is. North Carolina is incorrect. Keep guessing. <laughs> Ooh, I like that you're under this canopy. This has such a tranquil feeling. Let's take a second. Make sure you share this live so we have more people joining us. Please and thank you. All right, let's keep going.
So what state do you think I'm walking through right now? You don't have to get it right. I just thought it might be fun for your mind to take a moment and ponder it. Mmm, I smell some of this cologne or perfume. Interesting. Ooh. Nope, not Virginia. I think you're going to be stunned when you find out what the answer is. you could smell the air it really is its own kind of perfume it's like sunlight magic mixed with tree energy that somehow gives off the best perfume nope not Florida either Welcome, thanks for joining. Join me as we walk in the woods. Right now, I am walking through a place located Long Island, New York. This is on Long Island. Now, Long Island is not New York City. It's also not upstate. Some people will be like, oh yeah, the Hamptons. But that's also just one spot. As you know, but this is nowhere near that. Yeah, Long Island, New York. I hope this spurs you to look into what places you have near you. You'd be very surprised. This is literally just nestled away on some highway. isn't it? It's funny, I was actually going to go to a different spot. And as I started driving past this, I was like, nope, (laughs) this is where we need to go today. Can you hear the birds?
we as people forget that we do need nature's energy. And sometimes when you feel anxious, depressed, restless, angry, you know, all low frequency energy emotions, getting to be in nature even slightly, even doing it this way, helps lower your cortisol levels, which happens to eat away all your happy chemicals. Cortisol is created by stress. So, connecting with nature actually helps lower the stress levels as well as put in new healing energies. So that's why even if you connect through YouTube videos or videos like this, you're still getting some of the benefits. Also, just hearing bird sounds, it turns out, helps your vega nerve because the sounds of birds means that the birds feel safe. So when your human body meat suit hears the birds chirping, you instinctually realize that you are safe based on the sounds. That's why when a forest goes silent, you should be worried. But more to the point, hearing the bird sounds your soul and your meat suit goes, okay, I'm safe here. Having that ability to have that response even for a short period of time can help people with PTSD, anxiety, depression issues because it helps the body actually understand what the tranquil, stress-free response should feel like because many of us have never experienced it before depending on the lives we grew up in. Just a tip from me to you. And try to notice the little things. In all the green, there's a little bud. I really wish you could smell the air I'm smelling right now. Because it's not just pine needles. It's not just one thing. But the smell is freaking glorious. If I could bottle it, I would turn it into a candle ASAP. Welcome to all who are following all who have joined, all who have stayed, thank you. Thank you for all the presents, all the likes, all the shares. Hello, JT, welcome. Take a walk with me, babe. Barbara, welcome. We're taking a walk together. Thank you, Denny, for the hearts. Thanks for joining me on this walk. It really is such a beautiful day. There's a few here, Denny. Yes, Barbara, it's a beautiful day.
Right now I'm on Long Island, New York. Somewhere in Suffolk County. I found a little Pine Barren Reserve hidden away. Thank you, Delena43, for sharing the live. I appreciate you. Thank you for the likes. Thank you all for the gifts. And for the sharing. Oh, thank you for following me. All right. See if you can get a perspective of what it looks like, how high the trees go up. I'm trying to go slow so it doesn't disorient you. Oh, you're welcome. Yes, they definitely heard me. <laughs> For sure. They always do. And you're welcome. I realized that we needed to have one of those. Just popped into my head, you know. Such a cute dog. Thank you. Bye, cutie pie. Yeah, it's cool when you see other people going for walks, too. It's like, yay, they got the memo. <laughs> they understood the assignment. Yeah, I hope everybody can go look up that uh, prayer for divine unions. Because I think it will help a lot. But there's no pressure. Those that are meant to will. Everything that's meant to happens. Everything that's not meant to happen doesn't. And we, as souls in meat suits, wind up getting too hung up on all the things we thought should have been done. Not realizing God has such a better plan. I said to a friend the other day, because, you know, he had a shitty situation happen. And I was like, yo, that's the universe seeing your potential, your worth, and going, yo, we're going to pivot you into something better. Literally, like an hour later, he got a call about a better job that he never would have gone for if the shitty situation didn't happen. Just like this walk. I was planning to go in a completely different place. And then this place was like, no, you're coming here. And now you're with me and I'm so grateful. Thank you for all the likes. Thank you for the gifts. It helps me with TikTok. Aw, Amy, I'm so glad. See, sometimes people like me need to hear things like that. Because, you know, it could be very heavy doing readings for others and feeling like, you know, well, not insecurities, but, you know, little voices that play up sometimes, like, does anybody even really like this? Is it helping anybody? So, I appreciate you and your comment. Oh, that's cool. Wait, look. Which is why you always gotta keep an eye out for all the little things. Alright, all the way in the back. Ready? I don't know what it just did to me, but let's see. Can you see it? Look at that. I know it's a little wonky, but I'm not going all the way back there. I'm not getting ticks, but see it? It's like one of those lean-tos somebody built. That's awesome. Super creepy cool. Okay. Oh, and it's 200 on the clock. That's awesome. Aw, oh, Denny, thank you. Thank you, Amy. I'm glad my energy's infectious. It's funny, I was going to the post office and this poor woman she had someone be very rude to her and I just I opened my mouth because I can and I yelled at the person I was like yeah no she had the right away you were being a jerk and she's like thank you you could see she almost like fell apart in her appreciation she wound up being behind me at the post office and I was online and uh postal worker was saying something man on the woman behind me said to the postal worker, because it turns out they're friends, she's like, no, she was amazing. She stuck up for me. I was so shook. <laughs> so long story short, I said to them, same thing I'm saying to you. When you use your energy with intention, you change the world. I gave that woman hope. And I, I infected them both with positive energy. I even told them. I said, that's why I smile. That's why I, let, I you know, I wave. That's why... I send as much positive energy at people as possible. You know? Because it will help counteract all the negative that they've been sludged in. Yes, I'm in New York, Amy. This is on Long Island. 
Bye, Danny. Thank you again for all the likes and gifts. I appreciate you for it. And I just appreciate you as a person. <laughs> yes, compliments are always a great way. I always make sure that they're authentic, like I'm sure you do. Oh, look, another lean-to. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that's cool, Amy. Oh, really cool. I know Port Jeff. <laughs> Do people still call it down port? Because that's used to be what we called it. Amy, I moved to Florida for a while until a tornado came down my main street. And I said, fuck that. And I moved back to New York for a while. And now I'm testing out states to see what I like best. Well, that's awesome. You're from Israel. That's cool. All right. I don't know where that goes. I can't remember if I've gone this way before or not. Hmm. Thank you for all the likes and all the gifts. By the way, look how beautiful that looks. There's just this clearing. And if I'm really quiet, maybe even able to hear the breeze. It's just something so magical about forests. And I know this might sound ridiculous to some, but start thanking the trees. They make the oxygen we breathe for the most part. So whenever I'm walking through anywhere where there's trees or bushes or anything, I try to send some healing Reiki and gratitude. When I walk through forests like this, I say, thank you for existing. Please keep helping our planet and our people even though you don't get enough thanks. Because hell, they need to hear it. Just as much as we do. So, you don't have to say it out loud if you don't want people around you to be like, what the hell's wrong with this person? But wherever you go, if you just think, I want to send energies of healing, light, and love to the nature around me, you'll already be more beneficial than doing nothing. Just like going for a short walk will still do something beneficial versus like the most grueling workout. I had to learn that the hard way too. I'm like, I'm going to bench lift. I'm going to do crazy cardio. I'm going to do all this stuff. Bah, bah, bah. Next day, can't move. Takes a week to recover. Nope, that's self-sabotage. Now, I know, okay, I went for a short walk. Next day, I went for a longer walk. Next day, I rested. <laughs> doing a little something is better than doing nothing always. Well, unless we're talking about evil and nefarious stuff, then obviously that oh, statement can't apply. <laughs> Hello, Emily. Thank you for joining. Thank you to everybody that's joining. I don't know if you have forests like this near you, but there's a lot of websites that you could look up that'll show you nature trails near you so that you can find ones and discover new places for yourself. I still suggest to all the ladies and all those that identify as ladies to learn self-defense and take down methods. Because then no matter where you go, you're always safe. And once again, it goes to the same theory of it's better to know some than nothing. But then again, that's one of the reasons I'm on this planet. Is to remind everybody they should uh, understand consent in all its forms. Respect it in all its forms. And then for all those that can't protect themselves, learn how to. It's time. And I really do believe part of that is learning how to balance some of it by healing and restoring yourself. 
many people will hear the phrase, you know, you can't fill other people's cups up if yours is empty. This restores your cup so that it can overfloweth onto others. Thank you for the rose. Truly grateful. Or Lisa. Hello, doctor. Thank you for the roses. Or Lisa. Truly appreciate it. As well as all the likes and shares. talk too much because then you'll miss out on all the nature sounds. I'm going to go slowly for a second so you can see above us. Thank you for the likes, Miss Starshine. You guys are awesome. So yeah, this is on Long Island, New York. Or in Long Island, New York. I'm not sure how we say that. The only reason I mention that is I want you to rethink your perspective on where you live, not having a place you can go. Hello, Carl. Welcome. Orissa, thank you. I'm so glad the vibe is fantastic. There's people coming, so I'm just going to lower the camera. I don't want them to be on camera without consent. Okay. Hi, Katie. How you doing, honey? try to save this video and post it probably on my YouTube channel so you all can go through this walk anytime you want because we are there the end of the trail look at that just nestled away nobody has any concept that it's here All right, so thank you everyone for joining. Thank you for everyone who sent gifts. Oh, do you see the butterfly? Oh, thank you for the rose. There it is. Oh, I just caught it. Well, there was a butterfly. Sometimes the cameras don't catch it. Very welcome, Carl. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you for all the roses, Kate. Katie, I appreciate it. If you liked this walk, then I'll definitely try to do another one for you. But that's it for today. Love you guys. And uh, go look up places you can go near you that are in nature, okay? Love you guys. Bye. Ooh.